Joe Biden made another pick for his administration. This is Democracy Now! reporting. President-elect Joe Biden is reportedly preparing to pick retired General Lloyd Austin to be his Secretary of Defense. If confirmed, Austin would become the first African-American to head the Pentagon. Austin is the former chief of U.S. Central Command, where he oversaw U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria. After retiring in 2016, he joined the board of Raytheon and became a partner in Pine Island Capital Partners, a venture capital fund focused on military-related companies. Austin will need a legal waiver from Congress to take the position due to laws designed to preserve the civilian control of military. Uh, the section of the selection of Austin is being seen as a victory for anti-war groups who had fought against the possible selection of Michelle Flournoy as defense secretary due to her past support of the wars in Iraq, Libya, and other countries. Okay, so again, this is democracy now that we're talking about, which is generally viewed as a left outlet, mostly is a left outlet, but they just fell for the biggest trick that the establishment has been playing on us for, for the longest time. The trick is, what if I float the worst person possible the worst person imaginable for a position. Let's put Genghis Khan or Attila the Hun as Secretary of Defense. And then they don't pick Genghis Khan or Attila the Hun, but they pick somebody who's really, really, really bad. And then everybody says, well, at least it wasn't Genghis Khan and Attila the Hun. No, don't fall for that trick anymore. This guy on his own merits is terrible. He... Nobody should be in this position... Nobody should be Secretary of Defense if they worked for Raytheon. Of course he's going to be inclined to want more war. Of course. You're on the payroll of a company that makes money from war. Oh my God, how do I need to say this? I'm... This is the point, guys. Washington, D.C. is so corrupt and so swampy... They don't even realize how corrupt and swampy they are. Because this is just business as usual. Like, what do you mean? Yes, every single one of us has conflicts of interest. Every single one of us is corrupt and part of the swamp. Every single one of us is profiting in ways we shouldn't be profiting, whether it's from big pharma or for-profit health insurance companies or the military-industrial complex. Of course. But it's everybody around them, so they think like, what do you mean? We're fish and we're in water. Of course. But no. Any objective viewer could look at this and say, oh my god. The way the, the whole system is broken, the whole system's messed up. You're going to have endless war. You're going to have giant Wall Street bailouts and corporate subsidies as the people are screwed. Because that's the way the system is structured right now. And even the left is saying, well, at least they didn't go with Michelle Flournoy. Oh my God. How can you make such a bad point? This guy should not be allowed. Thankfully, even Elizabeth Warren is like, nope, not buying it. She's only, she's only doing that because she's salty that the administration snubbed her, so she's finally fighting back. Up to this point, she's been sucking up nonstop. But yeah, you guys need to block it. Everybody needs to block it. This is unacceptable. And we're going to have endless war, as far as the eye can see, continuing, because that's what the administration is geared towards. We have to stop that. We have to make that stop. This guy, you think this guy is going to stop with uh, our selling of weapons to Saudi Arabia as they do use it for a genocide in Yemen? No, because he's probably profiting off of those weapon sales. This is crazy, man. End this, end this madness and end it right now.